Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and welcome to What Can I Say, the show that I talk about things you need to hear, things you don't need to hear, or things I simply just have an opinion on. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys that this episode may be about a week and four days too late, but that's because I love to overanalyze everything. I'm constantly trying to break things down and figure out the life lesson inside of anything because I feel that life is always talking to us and it's our job to figure out how to decipher it and what the message actually is. Now, with that being said, I believe that there is a really big life lesson in the case of Andy Louise that we all need to take into account. This was a fighter that he was waiting for his shot. He was working day in and day out. He was struggling, but he knew that his time was going to come. Lo and behold, he got the phone call in front of all places, the mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden, and pulls off one heck of an upset. But literally from one day to the next, his life changed. He went from a guy that you probably wouldn't recognize him walking down the street. Now, if you see him, you'll probably stick a camera in his face. He got a posse following him. He got his pockets loaded with cash. He's going to all these late night shows. He got a bunch of yes men following him. He's hanging out with all of his idols. And then he gets ready for the second fight. And he shows up 17 pounds heavier than his first fight. And you could tell while watching it that he wasn't the same animal, that there was something that was missing in it. Now, the reason why I point this out is because if you talk to any coach, any mentor, they always talk about having to be ready to seize the opportunity. That be physically ready because once that moment comes, you got to be able to grab it and not let go. But very few people actually talk about what to do after you seize that opportunity. Because that's when everything changes. Because when you're physically going at it day in and day out, you have nothing. You're grinding. You are trying to succeed in whatever it is that you're going after. But then once all of a sudden you realize, hey, I got money in my pocket now. Hey, I can eat whatever I want. I can go wherever I want. My biggest dream was to buy my mom a house. Guess what? You already bought her a house. What happens then? Where's your motivation at? And I'm pretty sure you guys, if you look at athletics, if you look at music careers, movie careers, there are so many one hit wonders out there. And if you look at their stories, their stories are amazing. It's people that are coming up from poverty, people that, like I said, they have big financial goals. It's they're trying to make a better life for their family. But then all of a sudden, once they get it, everything fizzles out. So what I believe is that the life lesson inside of this, and I think Mickey from Rocky three ends up saying it the best. The worst thing that can happen to you, that can happen to any fighter, you got civilized. You have to remember what got you there in the first place. And again, as generic as this may sound, what got you, Andy Luis, what got him on that big stage? It was being humble. It was hustling. It was boxing. It was all the grind. It was day in and day out. And then eventually he got the phone call. But once he got that phone call and he got the money, he got the payday, he's like, wow, I finally made it. Yes, you can look at it, take a step back and realize I did it. But you got to go back to what got you there. You look at Tom Brady, arguably the greatest of all time. He can literally go into any bar in Boston and not pay for a drink the rest of his life. Is he going to the bars in Boston? Is he constantly going to clubs you look at and this was a video that i saw reggie bush posted um this thing on instagram of drew Brees by himself nobody around him he's going over cadences i guess in some aspect of this the story of icarus is true that you cannot fly too close to the sun because yes when you get fame sky's the limit you can go anywhere you want everybody's going to recognize you everyone's going to pat you on the back great But as soon as you fall, nobody will care and you will fade into abyss. So the biggest lesson for this is remember what got you there in the first place, which was not being comfortable, which was not being famous, which was not going to all the parties. It was the hard work. It was a hustling day in and day out to maintain your legacy. Because let's be honest. Everybody was saying it. Oh my gosh, this is another Buster Douglas. He had an opportunity to prove that I'm not a fluke. This is me putting my stamp in it. I'm sealed. And he let it go. Now, me personally, I'm hoping he gets a a third chance technically. Because, heck, I do want to see him succeed. But it is a mental game. And they always say that for athletics, it's 90% mental, 10% physical. But in this case, it really is mental. He has to know how to handle success. Now, for you guys, take this into account. Whenever you're chasing whatever it is that you're going after, know how to handle the success. 
know how to say, yes, this is nice, all the accolades, all the awards, all the trophies, but I'm still not that good. Because in a blink of an eye, everybody will forget you. So everyone, that's my message for today. The dangers of success. Like I said, be ready to seize that opportunity, but also be ready for the chaos that follows the opportunity once you take advantage of it. All right, guys. Thank you guys for listening. And this is What Can I Say? Mm-hmm.